why Big Lizzie is on the Chafee Trail. It came a lot later. The real story is, as told by W.B. Chafee a little bit later, that the Chafees came to Redcliffe first, and Redcliffe was their preferred site for both the pump and the village to go with it. But uh, George didn't think he could lift uh, the water quite as high at that time up the Redcliffe Cliffs, so Muldura was the second choice. Uh, and we like to uh, point that out to Muldura as often as we can. Uh, you'll see the story starting there uh, with a team of camels. Frank was working in Broken Hill in the mines and he saw these poor camels carrying big loads of wool from the stations to the railheads. And he sought those poor camels. So he went back to Sturt in Adelaide and he thought about it and he thought, what I really need is wheels that put down and pick up their own track. So he set to work with his mind. Uh, he developed quite a lot of models uh, and systems and eventually came up in 1906. He patented what he called the dreadnought wheel. And as I said, an engineer will explain it to you, but it's a very complex system of cables that indeed puts down its own rail and picks it up so the rim of the wheel is never touching the sand. Uh, and that was the design. In 1915, uh, the construction of Big Lizzie commenced. It was called Big Lizzie by his wife Madge uh, after a giant gun on the, uh, the ship, the warship Queen Elizabeth in the Dardanelles. That was a dreadnought or unsinkable uh, ship, known as Lizzie. And so thus Big Lizzie and her dreadmort wheels became the unsinkable and the unstoppable. In 1916, uh, uh, they set out the giant engine belching crude oil fly, uh, fumes, two trailers adorned with tents, Frank, Madge, two workers, a couple of relatives, a vegetarian dog, a pen of chooks and a rosella swinging in a cage up front. Uh, they were warned uh, at Oyen, be careful of those three dunes called the Three Big Sisters. They were in their element. They flew up and over without missing a beat. This was what Big Lizzie was built for. They arrived in uh, Muldura in uh, uh, 1917 after 22 months on the road but they couldn't cross the Murray because of the floods. They gained work around Meabeen carting wheat and wool and they broke the record carting uh, wheat, 899 bags, 70 tonnes to the railhead at Meabeen. They worked carting and equipment during the construction of Lock and Line but in 1920 became their big, big job. They arrived in Redcliffe's just as the clearing of the Redcliffe soldier settlement was commencing. And for four years, uh, they did that work. Forty years later, Councillor Ernie Wolfe, on a holiday, discovered this rusting wreck uh, down at Glendenning Station and came back enthusiastically raising funds from the Redcliffe Club and the Service Club to have a move back for the 19, uh, 1971 Golden Jubilee. And so, after years of work restoring it, here she is. Big Lizzie, an icon of the town.